Hey, this is Eddie on the creek bank of the Silamo, and I am uh, working on another hiking stick. The other day we had a uh, beaver stick that we uh, found on the creek bank here. And uh, while I was sitting here enjoying the day, I, um, uh, I finished this uh, beaver stick and turned it into a very nice hiking stick. And uh, I used only um, what I found here on the creek, except for the non-slip uh, pad there. What I used were some rocks that I've got down here, and I just uh, walked up and down the creek bot and, and got a few. Some are very coarse and uh, used great for debarking, but uh, with the beaver sticks, uh, like this one here that I'm about to work on, is uh, the beaver has already done the work for us. There's no bark on that, so we're very uh, fortunate. So I won't need to uh, debark it with uh, this very coarse rock that I have here. And then the, whatever they have is just sandstones and um, they're not in any kind of order. I'll just kind of grab the roughest one. About the most coarse that I've found here on the creek bank is roughly about uh, 100 grit. So um, you know, it makes it a little bit tough and you have to use it a lot, and, uh, but you can uh, reuse them. This one is the one that I used to finish this stick here the other day and I put it in the water, let it soak, and um, uh, I just got it out uh, a little while ago and it looks fine, so it's ready to uh, do a little bit more sanding. A couple of other things that I've got is uh, I found a piece of this flint and uh, was able to break that in half, and uh, that thing is razor, razor sharp, and what I'll do is I'll work on the, um, where the beaver didn't quite get those off, and I'll use this to, to uh, file that down and, and work on that a little bit more, and I'll get it to a certain point, and then I'll just use a heavy rock and kind of pound it, round it, and then, um, and sand it with the sandstone. And you can see, here's a couple that I did on this one here. They were pointed much like that one, and um, I was able to round those off. I did take a rock like this, and another rock and a hammer, and I cut that one away. And I really didn't like that too much, so I like the uh, the rounded ones more. You can, you can smooth those pretty good using nothing but um, the sandstone that we have here. Lots of sandstone, lots of limestone, and then when I got done with, uh, with this, I found a, a little harder rock, and uh, those are a little harder to find on the creek bank here, but they're, they're not as porous as uh, the sandstone. And um, not being a geologist, I don't know exactly what they're made of, but uh, I'll take this one, it's the one I used the other day, and I'll just rub as hard as I can up and down here, and it actually puts a nice sheen on it, and it works great. Um, uh, in fact, I, I, I debated about leaving this one all natural like that, but um, one of the dogs walked by and got a little bit wet, and as soon as they did, the, the pores from the wood popped out, and it wasn't as smooth anymore, so that kind of made me decide to uh, go ahead and put a, a, a clear finish on it. Now, the other thing I did with this one here was uh, it had some cracks in it, and um, I did use, uh, uh, what is that, super glue, crazy glue, and I filled in the cracks. I saw that somewhere on another video, and uh, and then I just uh, let that dry overnight, and then I smoothed it back down, and then um, I used uh, what they call a hand rub poly, um, that is an oil-based poly, and then um, I put uh, two coats on that, and then I kind of roughed it up with a towel, just to, so it didn't have a just a real smooth finish on it, but a good natural, good feel. And I really like that stick. I think this is going to be one of my favorite sticks here at the cabin to uh, walk up and down the creek bank. And uh, now this is the one that um, I'm going to start next and I will have to do that in a part two video. I'll uh, sit here on the creek bank today and a little bit tomorrow working on this and um, hopefully I'll have that done and uh, be able to uh, post the uh, before and after videos of that. Thanks for watching. See you later.